Hello, hello, what is happening? It's your boy Nick Che coming back at you guys with a new video. Today we're talking about something that I've been wanting to kind of just get off my chest and put out into the world and I know it's going to be very controversial and so there's a few disclaimers I want to get into but before this video gets started, if you enjoy these types of videos just talking about college and honest reactions and everything like that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because there's going to be tons of new content coming out for you guys. But yes, this is not clickbait. This is exactly what you guys have been wanting to know and something that, like I said, I've been wanting to say and it's the shit I hate about Princeton. Now the disclaimers. First off, I understand I am very, very fortunate to be where I am at the school that I am with the opportunities and the resources that I have. So everything I say in this video, please take it with a grain of salt because I know that people are going to be typing in the comments like, oh, you go to Princeton, you're so ungrateful. Like I literally just said that. Like I know I understand that I'm fully aware of that. But there are still the cons of the school, still the negative sides that I feel like people don't talk about and if you know schools like this or harvard or stanford or whatever are your dream schools then it's good to be informed of the reality of the situation because they're not just all magical places where everything is nice all the time so that's the first disclaimer second disclaimer is that this is just my opinion one student going to the school there are literally thousands of other people so if you are a person student yourself right now watching this your opinions could be totally different from mine and that's fine it's okay to agree to disagree but i mean this is what i've taken away from my two years here not that anything I say is, you know, right or the right mentality to go about things, but just how I'm feeling and I think that would be beneficial to share with you. So let's just jump into it. Now, first and foremost, the biggest thing I hate about the school is the self-inflicted stress. Now, granted, there are dozens of variables that go into why people are stressed here, but for me, I definitely think that the majority of it is self-inflicted, meaning that students here just tend to like stress themselves out unnecessarily over things that really don't need to be stressed about and it's hard not feeling like that when you've just got so much stuff going on like obviously your academics the classes are super hard the extracurriculars everyone's involved in different things on top of that you're doing interviews you got job applications you got real world shit that you got to get taken care of and it's just so much negative energy that you can just kind of feel it on this campus and it's not good it's not healthy and on top of that it just seems that like everything piles up on top of each other and just makes sometimes like really really miserable like midterm week and finals week you guys know how much I hate that period of this school year and it's just getting annoying sometimes because not that any other school isn't hard but as much as I hate to say it like this is Princeton this is the Ivy League like classes are just objectively harder like the courses are harder the material you have to cover is harder the semesters are shorter meaning that you have to cram all the information into 12 weeks compared to 15 or 16 weeks at any other school and that just makes it really stressful and just something that I am really fed up with right now number two is this underlying competitiveness within the student body now this is not something that people are going to tell you that Princeton is a very cutthroat school that there's competition everywhere and that people are always trying to outdo each other but it's underlying it's unheard of it's like not spoken about which is one like i said not good it's not healthy it's not conducive for our school to be a better community and grow from it because it's like the sense of like people are like subconsciously judging one another for either not getting an internship over the summer or not having job applications ready or whatever the case may be like there is always some kind of like underlying competitiveness that goes around the school like you ask someone what you're doing this summer and oh i have an internship at jp morgan or oh i'm going to goldman sachs or whatever and like it just makes you feel almost inferior feeling like oh crap why don't i have my shit together like why didn't i know about this why didn't i get my application ready and like no malice to anyone that is on top of all their stuff that they need to be and they're succeeding and they're taking advantage of everything the school has to offer but i just don't want that negative energy to almost lead into this like i'm trying to outdo you but i'm not going to tell you about it kind of mentality now that's very vague and it's hard to understand unless you're kind of a student here but i hope you can kind of get the gist of that point number three now this was not something i was very aware of before coming to college but especially coming to school like princeton social climbing that shit is annoying like people will do anything to try to climb to the top of whatever it is but that's not to say people aren't going to be doing things to maneuver their way to the top of the social ladder whether it's just like acting different around certain people or trying to fit into groups that they're not really a part of like it's a very controversial thing and something that like is a negative thing on campus to be talked about but that's just my two cents like I'm, i clearly don't know everything about this i might just be making shit up but like i don't know it's annoying to me number four is the unnecessary bullshit now i know this whole video just sounds like me complaining on and on about how hard the classes are and i know i signed myself up for this but sometimes i'm just sitting in my classes i'm like bro this is some straight up like what like it is unnecessarily difficult the workload is unnecessarily too much in my opinion like for some of these courses i'm like bro you want me to read what in how many days and do this piece out on top of that on top of three other classes and staying healthy and fucking like getting sleep and it, it adds up and it's stressful and 
just unnecessary and I know that I'm saying this right now and I know that in 20 years I'll look back and be like thank god I did all that because it put me in a better place for this job and I was successful from it or whatever and I know I'll thank myself in the future but right now Kurt Nick is like man this is it's almost like not a waste of my time because I know that like I signed myself up for this like I said and that like I just need to get through it get the degree get out of here but man like and to be honest like I don't even have it that hard like I'm an econ major and yes that's hard but some of my friends are doing computer science or electrical engineering and they're taking like all these courses that seem so hard I'm like I feel bad but I feel worse for my friends sometimes but that's just another thing that's super annoying about the school now I know that wasn't a super long list, it's not as juicy as some of you guys might have been thinking it was going to be, but I don't know, I just kind of want to get that off my chest. I know that I could have easily made a video talking about things I love about Princeton because that list is way longer, but that's something that I've already talked about and I know that a lot of you guys are looking to apply to schools like this, but just like, keep your mind open, keep, realize that like what you're signing up for is going to be very, very, very difficult, very, very stressful, and at times it's not going to be all fun and games, like it's just real shit you got to do, man. Like. Now I just want to re-emphasize that these are just opinions of one student at the school. Some people may be loving their time here, not having no difficulties, even though that's probably impossible. You know, so just take everything I say with a grain of salt. Don't think that the school isn't great or that if you get in, like, you're not going to have a good time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this real talk. If you did, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know any new types of videos you guys want to see, and I will see you guys next time.